actually decided to come myself you know uh, you need to actually get a code and go and access the form but I'm very excited to get the forms and start the process and I want to say thank you to all the media teams you've been very graceful and supportive in following me in places that I go and all of that I think it's interesting times are coming this election will be very interesting. I'm probably uh, an independent leader for the new force, but I feel like it's not about the independence at this moment. Ye kwa ku disa to be away so I be ye edi can for I won't mind Monty and no idea yes 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 so far at my brain as well. Okay, so one thing that um, became a concern probably not to some of you but to some of your colleagues who are seeking to also contest this election. When the Electoral Commission came up with the filing fee, the amount or the cost of the filing fee, the hundred thousand for the presidential um aspirant or candidate. Um, it was greeted with a lot of concern, saying that it is um, too much, it is hindering, they are using money to cripple some people from, I mean, taking up leadership roles. What's your um, bite on that? I mean, we should accept and I understand that politics in Africa, especially in our country, has become extremely expensive. And it will take a new phase of generations to let the money come out of it and let the true leadership prevail itself. So for me, I think it's going to be a hit. And people that are ready to go in to really make a change should find whatever possible means to be able to pay for this form. It's a form that is more expensive than your passport. I don't know whether it's going to England or heaven, but it's quite expensive. And like I said, we need to accept that politics has become expensive. We should find a way to make it economical. Right, so uh, picking the four means officially, we should expect you launching your policy document or maybe kickstart your campaign. When should we expect these two important activities? Absolutely, very good question. All of that is coming, and I wanted to say to Ghanaians, thank you very much for your patience. I want to say to you that a true policy is not easy to put together. And of course, I'm not going to come out with anything cut and paste like we've seen in the past, which is full of promises that hasn't been uh implemented i think manifesto should be implemented it shouldn't be an album or a true storybook that enlightens your mind but takes away your hope we are bringing a developmental agenda and the policies in there would actually benefit the youth of this country the women and men of this country and how to create a workforce a new labor force to change the country's economy and its developmental agenda this is probably part of the elements and things that you need to develop a nation or build a nation. Finally, on my part, I think um, initially you had wanted to form a political party and um, you've not been able to 
be granted that um, license to enable you carry through with your vision of forming a political party. Now you are going to contest as independent um, presidential candidate. While a party like PMP who has been given the provisional certificate to go ahead, you started the process long before they, they, they put in their request. But they, it seems they have, uh, yeah, their request has you that some kind of impact. How do you feel about the whole thing? You've been denied um, the opportunity to have your own political party. Well, first of all, I don't think I've been denied. I think I've been delayed. You know, but one thing I also believe is that destiny can be delayed, but it can't be denied. And that's why I'm standing here today talking about my independent candidate, uh, candidative moment. Um, I think we shouldn't let the party or the independents determine what we're going to implement and what we're going to change in this political narrative and principles of this country that would build a better nation for us. I think it should be the drive, the passion, the vision, you know, to make a change. And we should look at this more as a revolutional movement than a political party. You know, um, although the constitution uh, speaks about having a party to become a part of a government, but it also gives you a chance that you can independently become a part of that. So that nine months delay, when it was supposed to be seven days of hearing back from them, they still came back giving me the provisional license. But nine months was such a long time that I couldn't use the rest of the three months to say that I am going to form that same party. And for that reason, I want to rest assured Ghanaians that I am very, very confident and I'm very, very content that, you know, Ghanaians giving me this opportunity uh, it suppresses the fact that I am standing as an independent uh, candidate. But you, you count the most. You are more important for me. Without you, I don't think my purpose and my vision will become a reality. So I look at the people, I look at the nation, I look at what they need, what they want, and how I can be a help of that, how I can contribute to that. And that alone gives me hope. I have one important question for you. Um, just, just, just the day or today, Info Analytics came up with a survey indicating that your candidature, you'll be able to garner only 1% in the Ashanti region in the polls. What's your reaction to that? Oh, I mean, look, numbers don't lie, but people can always write whatever they want to write. You know, the only time you see that numbers don't lie is when the end is justifying the means. Okay? And I would say that whether you 1%, 5%, as long as it's not zero percent, we're going somewhere. So um, you might start the race at the last bottom, but it's a marathon. People will get tired along the way. Some people will fall off. Some people might not make it to the end. Let's focus on getting to the end. It's the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, there's a light. Thank Definitely. you. So Thank I think you. quick one. How about your vision and your plans? Have you met anyone with such you uh, share same you know vision with someone to complement you as a running mate? Well, you know. Your idea or vision is not unique if it's repeated or if it's stolen by someone and is used. I think that we're all humans, but we're all created uniquely with different purposes. However, when we come together with all our purposes, it becomes a collaborative effort. And that reason, that's when we get a different result. So I think that the vision I have for Ghana and for this nation is completely different from what I'm seeing from others. Okay, to add up to that, I know recently it came up, I don't know if you're aware, that uh, you are going to partner or take some, uh, some about uh, Nkrumah as a running mate. Now, I asked you whether it's true or not, I don't want to speak to that, but are we expecting any popular phase as part of the campaign team or as a running mate? I don't think popularity is what is just going to do the job. I think the enigma, the stigma, you know, the greatness, the readiness, the mindset, the mentality, you know, the courage of that person is what is really going to make them a matching pair. So, not to call names, but remember, the man in the mask have a lot of people behind him to unveil. Also in, also in the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.